During the summer of 2018, I recruited a team of women to continue the work started by a group of men at the end of June retracing a long lost canoe route. It was now August 24th and we had six days to put the enthusiasm and efforts of four female strangers as we worked towards searching and clearing a way towards Waconison River. Good morning. We're just uh, in Massey right now, and actually we're at the Massey Motel right here. So we were supposed to go close to our put-in last night, but uh, on our drive here, we noticed that there was a massive, massive rain cloud. Now we know that there's gonna be a lot of rain on this trip, and uh, it was gonna start tonight, and approximately just before we got to our to our camping spot, which was about one o'clock at night, and um, that area, which uh, I'm familiar with, is it's just a wide open area, and there's very little trees, and so getting there at that time of night and trying to set up camp would be a little bit of a fiasco, not having tarps to set up, and being pouring rain. So. Uh, we just made a decision last night to stay at a motel uh, because we still need to put get our gear all spread out and, and repacked uh, for this trip for this morning. So just imagine pouring rain, uh, we're already soaking wet, trying to set up the tents last night and then having to try to get all our gear spread out and then repacked. So it would have just been uh, a nightmare. So. We just made the decision to stay here, stay dry, have a nice place to have breakfast, pack up, and then head out uh, this morning. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go. It's right now just uh, quarter after seven. Um, I'm going to go over there. The girls are over. Right there you can see Heather's car just above me. It's right beside me. And I'm going to go see if they're all awake and I'm going to get the day started. <laughs> After packing up and having breakfast, we were soon on our way. We got a couple, uh, the Bush Kentucky Fried Chicken right here <laughs> waiting for us. If we had a rock, we could nail them. But gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. So we just arrived at Lower Ritchie Lake. Uh, we just paid for our parking permits. Um, just got to see James. And uh, we saw him last time, he, he helped us quite a bit. And uh, so as you can see here, here's Lower Ritchie Lake. Is this where we're putting dam. in? Yep, and we're putting it right in here. Seems a little extravagant for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be heading over to Russian Lake for today. The forecast shows that it's going to be raining uh, this afternoon and then raining straight throughout the night. So the rain is definitely coming, but it hasn't started yet. So it's okay. We we had it nice in the motel um, <laughs> and uh, we'll start nice and dry, but we'll probably end uh, very wet today. Right 
So we're officially are heading off from Laura Rich Lake at quarter to 11. We're heading towards our first portage and uh, into a nice little beautiful lake. Bojena, are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Awesome, let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. The portages to Russian Lake were previously cleared by the men's team earlier in the summer. So this section gave the women an opportunity to see what they would be dealing with. We also took this opportunity to further clean the trails and also give everyone a chance to work out kinks nice and get to know each other better. Overall, as expected, the trails are still in decent shape and easy to follow. There was five lakes between Lower Ritchie and Russian, our destination for the first night. Because they were unnamed, to avoid confusion, the men from the previous trip each gave them a nickname to help identify them. This was the first portage of the trip, into Drama Lake. So we just uh, finished our first portage. So how's everyone feel? Fine. Hot and sweaty? Mr. Chillin' Grill. After a short paddle, we begin the uphill portage into Ankle Lake. We had a lot of gear, so each portage meant two carries. Oh yeah. That's okay, you just stand there and do nothing. <laughs> there you go. No longer a virgin. <laughs> At the end of Ankle Lake, Bojana got her first experience with swamp muck, the kind many canoes are familiar with. Then it was onward to Jim Bog Lake, that yes, had a few boggy sections. But overall, the going so far was easy. So what are you doing there, Heather? Yes, I'm talking to you. I need to know. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're making a bridge? Like a bat. Clearly I'm a biologist, not an engineer. <laughs> My so, appreciate that. So when we go across, oh. we will um, suggest that others go in front of us. There. There. That's good. That's good? Don't videotape. We've got to see some action. Action. There we go. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you. High five. <laughs> we stopped for a brief lunch on the opposite shores of Jim Bog Lake before making our way to Stinger Lake. We were making decent time as we were now settling up for the portage into Lake Number Five, Lopper Lake. Short one. Yeah, it's probably similar to the last one. Might be a little bit longer, but... This portage was quite memorable for the men's team, cutting through this dense section nicknamed the Big Green Monster. Blueberries. Yeah. After the short paddle across Lopper Lake, it was then the final portage into Russian Lake. After six back-to-back -back portages, 
we finally arrived at the shores of Russian Lake. What took the men's team three days to get here, it took the ladies' team just hours. <laughs> We'll call you the tank top team. Found a water bottle. Found a water bottle? Is it full? Oh. There's a little bit of stuff. You guys drinking or something? <laughs> Is this yours? Maybe? No. I found it just like... Like, like we brought the beer and left it there, right? Yeah. Not long after, we arrived at Shark Point, a great campsite on Russian Lake for the night. Over there or here? Oh, over there. I don't know. What did you think? I thought it was here. No, I don't. There's conflict in the campsite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, no, it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm going to throw up now. <laughs> After camp was set up, it was time for supper. Each of the ladies were in charge of supper during the trip. So for our first night, we had chili made for us by Bojena. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Like, a little bit of tapeworm read. a few times. <laughs> run, run, run. What? So first I night's dinner yeah. by Bojena. She's made us some nice chili. We haven't Delicious. tasted it yet. So. Oh my god, it looks amazing. <laughs> Is it one of those looks can be deceiving kind of a thing? Yeah. Be a musical so, evening. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Here you go. Thank you. Yum. She's uh, finding her Zen moment now. <laughs> the rest of the evening was spent relaxing, getting to know each other, and discussing the objectives for the next day. Then it was off to bed, since we had a long day ahead of us. Okay, so now the battery's good. So good morning. We are on day two, right? And today is D-Day, Deliverance Day. <laughs> so how's everyone feeling about today? <laughs> Excited. Excited? Yeah. You see the excitement in everyone's face? I'm good to go with my wet feet. Yeah. So Bojana has now experienced wet sock, wet boots, which she's not used to. So. The sensation is, what would you liken it's to? It's actually not as bad as I anticipated. Really? They're wet. Yeah. But they're okay. Yeah. So she's a backpacker, and so normally she will have dry boots. And this will be a very different experience because in the next several days, it will always be wet. 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 All right. Wet. Morning, Heather. Morning. Here's our troublemaker. We can bribe her with gummies. No, uh, jujubes. Jujubes. We had some concerns regarding DQ's canoe. Can you see You know, why? I could show this video as you know, after the trip. <laughs> Little do we know, it's actually before the trip. This was brand new when you got it. Okay, so we've just arrived at Elsie's Creek. Now, you can't really see the creek here, but what you can see it's a jumble of logs, which the guys didn't have to deal with when we came here last time. So it's going to be dicey. The logs are super slick. They're not all being supported. Some of them, a lot of them are floating. And uh, so over there, DQ and Alice is, uh, they're going to kind of do some leftover slash whatever to get over the logs and make their way over there. And then we're going to try going down the creek. So... Ladies looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Ready to go? We already have one nickname. Just let, just wanted to tell the folks that it's a good name. Wow. Heather has been nicknamed Jube Jube. <laughs> Kingfisher. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We closely watched DQ and Alice's attempt to traverse the myriad of logs, especially since the hull of DQ's canoe was fragile and needed to be babied. 
we really wondered how his canoe would hold up, considering we were now just getting into the rough stuff. I'm more scared about hauling my canoe with all this weight in it over top of it. So they took their packs. The logs are sinking and uh, they're having a little too much fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Why are you in? <laughs> I was going to crawl over, but I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I'll just stay here right here. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got to be. Oh! 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 <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> here, let's. And the logs are separating. Yeah. Here, I'll give them a hand. Hold on. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, I just got uh, Bojana's in front of me. Um, if you, yeah, yeah. Once we got past the logs, we bushwhacked along Elsie's Creek to the next body of water. The pudding was tricky with all the slippery rocks, so we eventually changed the location. Is it better there? Okay, so we're in the middle of uh, cutting our first portage uh, trail and it is looking absolutely amazing. Um, Heather's there with a big uh, loppers that uh, extend so she can get all the high branches. And if you look over here, you got this beautiful corridor. The girls here are hitting high, low, and everything from uh, small little uh, shrubs to small trees. So it's looking really, really nice. Good job, girls. So the women have something to say to the guys' uh, TPP trip. So, Bojana? Take a look at that beautiful trail behind us. Yeah. We think it's much better than your trail. <laughs> you know what? There's not even a hesitation. No. It's like... <laughs> you got it. You got it. Thumbs up. All right. You know, no, it... it I... try, guys, but... <laughs> Okay, I have to admit, I mean, it is a real good trail. Um, these girls are kick ass, and uh, this is our first trail for the day. There'll be many more, I guarantee. <laughs> you know, they have no qualms like nailing and, and bashing into each other. That's the one thing that's a little different with the guys' trip and the girls' trip. They, they just no hold bar, they just go for it. So, if you're guys, if you're kind of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. All right. Round one. Yep. The relocated pudding was much better than the first one. So we've just come to our uh, an impasse uh, past the pond. So. It's just a creek that meanders, it, it drops a little bit, but they said that there's a, a trail with some flagging tape on River Right. So we're just going to go take a look and see what's beyond this point and see if, if there's uh, water on this creek. Hard to see due to the trees, but there was indeed water beyond this narrowing. So we just uh, completed our second uh, portage trail. Now this one, um, there actually was a trail and there's some flagging tape. So there's a possibility that uh, some hunters have come through here, but it was very narrow and overgrown. And if you take a look here, you see this wide corridor and that's the work of our team. Just literally, it's a machine and it just cleaned it right up. You almost don't even need flagging tape because you can clearly see which way to go. Um, I'm out of breath, but what I wanted to say was that when we came here through the guys, uh, not here, but the other section, there was four of us and we still did a pretty good job. I, I can't uh, deny that, but it's amazing how much difference it makes when you just add two more 
people to to the crew that cleans this trail up and if you can see here again it's just a nice corridor and uh, we are definitely I would say moving a little faster by having the two extra people so um, it was it's a welcome to have uh, six of us um, going through this forest so doing a pretty fantastic job and really really uh, happy that these uh, women are stepping up not only joining me on this trip but uh, creating new portages and new routes for canoeists in Ontario to, to visit so this is Elsie's Creek at least we just portaged and we're gonna have lunch but I'm just scouting ahead to see whether there's any way to get the canoes down here without going through the forest uh, it's possible with a royal light canoe, but uh, I'm gonna have to go down there and scout. So I'm gonna check it, but I'm gonna we're gonna have lunch first, and then I'll I'll take a look. So there's a flagging tape over there, but we're trying to see if there's a trail that leads up there. But the hill, I mean, the landscape just goes straight up. So we can't do the creek because it's more of this boulder shallow river or creek I guess and uh, so we're just trying to find a way up into the forest and around all this mess. So we're just heading up from the, the creek where all the canoes are and we're going straight up the hill. DQ said that uh, near the top it's a little bit clear so it's easier to get get across but just having to navigate this pretty steep hill here Watch all the logs here, ladies. After getting to paddleable water, Mary found a better route back that skirted the creek and avoided the climb up and down. That's a mess. This, folks, is some badass women clearing a portage trail we got pruners we got saws we got loppers and they are just opening up a highway so that we can bring our canoes through what a team what's that Woo! oh yeah <laughs> who says you can't have a little fun while you're working how's it feel Awesome. We're on. We're in Elsie's Creek, and we're halfway through, probably cutting a portage. It was really hot. We knew there was a, a drop in the topple line, so that we knew there was going to be a small falls or something. And this is kind of it. So we're hot and sweaty, and we're going in for a dip. Woo! See that? That resulted in this. <laughs> Then it was back to work. Look at that! Move the friggin' log! Woo! <laughs> Something about Mary! <laughs> We're dragging! So, there might be some... Yeah, but there might be bony sections. You might want to put the packs on for those sections so that the canoe doesn't scrape too much. Despite finding water to paddle again, 
it was short-lived. We now got to walk the canoes. So this is called a liftover pujana. Mm -hmm. So basically what we do is uh, go on top of the, the beaver dam and both alongside each other and then we just grab this canoe at the same spot. Yeah, just like that. the canoe kind of like a, as a your walking stick if you need if you're falling use a canoe to brace yourself On this stretch of Elsie's Creek, we altered between paddling and walking based on the depth or obstacles in the water. Take a picture then. We're just coming on to a logging road, as you can see from the bridge. Our uh, hope is to make it to Elsie's uh, late tonight to camp. But we're going to base it on time because it is. Stuck? <laughs> okay, it's about uh, almost quarter to eight. You can see that the sun is just about to dip below the, the tree line. And uh, we're struggling to find a campsite. Hey, they just stepped into a wasp nest and a few people are getting stung. <laughs> 